I'm going to do the best I can to demonstrate installing this Ion Life under sync kit uh, with the melody. I've got the melody kind of discombobulated right now and I'm plugged, ready for this. Now to install an under sync kit with a water ionizer, you need to use a water ionizer that will turn on and off just based on the water going through the machine will turn it on and then the stopping of the flow of water turning it off. And the Melody and the Athena are both good for that and also the Venus. So those are great for an under, you know, under sink kit installation. Now under your sink you need to have an outlet to plug the Melody in or, or, or whichever water ionizer in. So make sure you do have an outlet there. Also, you'll have a shutoff valve connected to your plumbing line down here, and, and there'll be a water supply line connected to that. You'll need to turn your shutoff valve off like that. Unhook your water supply line. It's all under your sink, obviously, and it has to be the cold water supply line, obviously. And then what you're going to do is in your kit comes actually instructions and a chart and everything. Um, but comes, you know, your different parts that you need. Now you disconnect the supply line from here and what you're going to do then is connect this kind of a diverter onto that spot. And you just kind of screw it on and um, I'm, uh, I'm thinking that you might not need to use pliers or you might just depending on once you do test the water and if there's a leak obviously you need to tighten it more so then you screw this on and it's just a little tricky getting it started but once you've got it started get it on there and so now uh, your water then, is, this supply line uh, is all all hooked into now this is a diverter that will feed your sink but also will will feed your faucet. Okay now here is the faucet and it's this particular one is chrome but you can get different colors to match whatever you have on your sink these turn and they're kind of nice it's a double faucet this is the top one is for alkaline and the bottom is for acidic water and it just kind of pulls back and you know pulls like that to to get the water flow started now there are all the lines are hooked already pre-hooked to it so your your two black hoses I'll call them are for your water input. One gets attached to what I just showed you, that diverter on your supply line or connector, what do you whatever you want to call that. You just push it in and then just kind of pull to make sure it doesn't pull right out. But that's all it's just an an instant connection. Just real handy and then the other one gets hooked to the water input on the bot bottom of your water ionizer and I'll just try to show you that I hope you can see this there's a little blue label on the back of your water ionizer and has an arrow that says tap water inlet so that you're gonna follow the arrow down and you know find that connection right there and push that black hose right on in like that then you've got a red hose here that red for acid and that gets hooked to this other uh, line here but now this has to have a special connector so that's this 
piece right here and we'll push one side on like that and then push the red hose in and we're done. Make sure it doesn't pull right out. And the last thing, all right, we'll turn this, set this straight up. The last hose, and you know, these hoses, by the way, can be cut. You're gonna be installing this under your sink and you want it to be customized to what you need. But I'm just kind of going over this uh, real quick and showing you where the hoses go but you'll need a helper and you'll need to actually figure this out how this is going to be positioned down under your sink. You'll probably want the melody itself to be pretty close to your cabinet door so that if you did want to switch the setting to acidic water or something like that you could just reach in and push the button but that's up to you. Now this will we'll, uh, hook into this, but we need another like connector piece that screws in and then once that's screwed in tight, then you will just push this in just like all the others. So that's pretty much all your little hoses and I hope that helps with you figuring out how to do this. Um, this faucet will fit it in a one and a half inch hole and if you want to just remove the sprayer of your sink and put this in its place you can do that or you can just drill another hole in your sink to the size of an inch and a half and it will it will just fit down in there obviously you will have put all this down in your hole first before you start hooking the hoses to the mallet or to the water ionizer okay um hope that helps and uh, i'll talk about this a little bit more in the blog so make sure you go to the blog to see a little bit more about this thank